today I'm going to show you how to make a little countdown timer you can add to YouTube videos. I'm showing this on my iPad. You could also do this on your iPhone or probably you could do it on your computer or anything you can screen record. You have to be able to screen record to make it in the style that I'm going to be doing it here. I use these on my study with me videos as you can see right here in the bottom corner. That's the timer I'm going to show you how to make. First thing you need to do is go into your clock and go to timer. Once you get into the timer, you're going to want to set the amount of time that you want to count down. So you can do minutes, hours. For this video, I'm just gonna do 10 seconds to make it really quick. Before you start anything else, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have screen recording set up on your iPhone or iPad. If you don't know how to do that, I'll link a video above that shows you how to do that. But I'm gonna assume you already know how to do that and you just turn it on on your control panel like I've done right here. You need to start a screen recording before you start the clock. Now I've started the clock and I'm screen recording the 10 second countdown. So you just wait for it to count down here. After the countdown finishes, you need to go into photos so you can access the file. So here's the countdown I recorded and screen recorded. It's a video in my photos area. Now what I'm gonna do is edit this video and crop it. So depending on how much you wanna show, I just wanna show the numbers. I wanna crop out the rest of every, you know, the time up there you can see. So I just adjust it to the size. Now I could just do the 10 seconds. I don't need to have the hour and minute on here cause it's not that long, but I'm just making it full so you can see what it looks like. After you get the crop down to the size you need it to be, you need to save this file. So I'm just, it says preparing video you see on the left. I'm just saving it now. So it'll be in that cropped format. So after you save it, you can open it up again and make sure it's in the crop format. It should look something like this. After that, you're going to want to go into iMovie and start a new project before you do anything else. This just makes it a little easier because you're gonna need to trim some of the video. So I'm just selecting the cropped version of the video. You can see below there's fuller versions, but from here, you just need to trim out and cut out kind of like the beginning that you don't want to see that you don't want that in your movie so just I'm just going to trim it here and cut the side so it's right starts right at the 10 seconds so go to the little scissors and then cut and then go to the end and also cut off that little part you could probably edit this in the main movie that you want to add this to but I just find it easier to do a second project here or a second movie project and then I save this video I just save it to my photo library from here. It just makes it easier and quicker to access. And once I have that saved, go into your other movie project, the main one that you wanna add the countdown timer to, and you're going to go to the video section to add a new video. Pick the one that you just edited, the timer clock, and then pick picture in picture. That'll put it on top and you can edit it it has the white bar around it, which I don't like. Um, so you just highlight on the movie clip and then you can remove that with a little square here and then you can kind of drag it around and you can shrink it down by pinching your fingers together. Now this is gonna look completely out of proportion here because I can't really drag it to the actual real corner of how this video looks to you guys, but it will look more in proportion when you're making it and bring it to the corner of your actual video um, because this is a screen recording of iMovie so I can only bring it to the very corner here so it looks out of proportion but it will look better and more in proportion more like you see here in this video it'll look more to the right size so that's pretty much it thanks for watching hope you learned something here Leave a comment if you have any questions and please subscribe if you like these type of videos. Thanks again.